Hi guys, welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to the first attempt for building power to launch the store app. Okay, so it's a bit complicated uh, for like, okay, so make sure you have already set up an RPM and check below tools have been installed and require path has been set. Okay, I have done my mistake to the screen double S. Okay, so these are the following things Java, Android SDK, Android Studio, Appian Ubuntu, without uh, using the Intel model, and UI Ubuntu. These are the pre requests you have to use, you, have, you should have, and the path should be there. And uh, this is very tedious, so please refer the installation video uh, before watching this video if you are not aware about the installation configuration of Appian. So this will be video for writing the first script and uh, how to uh, so to write the first script what are the libraries to be add so we will not going to install today what are the three courses we just start to write in first script and to launch app automatically using app first start app in server by using command line in terminal for example open the terminal and just enter app okay so i'm going to search terminal yeah, open terminal and then I will just maximize. Okay. Yeah, I will try just at the A T T I U M. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, sorry, I have minimized that. And then I will just maximize A double T I U M. Okay. So just play enter. And wait for some time it will uh, generate all the logs all the logs yeah you can see a welcome to IPM we I will just copy and I will just paste to the blogs yeah and you can see the IPM based HTTP based the first listener started on this is your host name and this is your port name okay so 4723 is your port name you have to uh, you have to use this detail while uh, adding the capabilities when you are writing the first page. Now second open the android studio. Ok if you want virtual devices anymore you can add over and download install it's free. Ok if you want to do a cross browser first thing. Next open UI terminal using below command in terminal. So just new open terminal maximize and then just tab UI automator here. I will just tab then it will come UI automator here. Okay, how to install UI Tomatoes here? Uh, you can see that in uh, my first video of installation and configuration. And now wait for some time or while you can see this uh, UI part UI Tomatoes here. I will just minimize. Okay. Now there's a uh, four step open Eclipse. Yeah, open Eclipse. Next, create a new Java project. Right click on the project. Create a Java project. New. Java project. I'll just give a name. Okay. Uh, what we should give the name? Yeah, simply at to yeah first underscore appium underscore space. Yeah. Now click on finish. Yeah. The project has appeared. Now you can just uh, unfolder that. Then create package form dot anything whatever you want to do just complete all the segment form dot smssv dot play story so we are going to touch to the play store right? then create class java class and you can give a name of first underscore appium underscore script and then i will click on finish yeah this is your uh, this is your class which you are going to write today all the code lines then right click on that project download following all jars and add to build part and make a folder lib and move all jar files in lib folder okay so first you go to the selenium server standalone as an official website you will click on the google chrome and selenium hq website yeah i will just copy paste yeah 
then you have to just yeah download version selenium server silent server and then you have to click on for client java client so we are going to write uh, uh, the code by supporting java okay so, so client is a java if you are using python then you can use the python then go back client is over uh, now you have to download json java file which is a protocol to uh, like communicate with the appium with the script to, to the appium to the mobile and to the desktop so you can just click on the java file you will get and download the java file of json protocol next java client java file where we go for the appium java client that link will be work here and just click on the java file cool no. I have already downloaded in zip folder in a leaf folder. You can get it. Okay. Uh, so what I will do, uh, I will create a leaf folder in the room. Okay. Let's try it and try. Okay. Right build path. Configure build path. Uh, one second, just one second. I will go for the file. One second, yeah. okay, this. Download following all jars and add to build part and make a folder lead and new all jar files in the folder. Okay, I have already added all downloaded jar files in the lead folder. Why? Because you can get a centralized so we will not forget where it is downloaded. So this is the client JSON all those things. Now click on your project build path, configure build path, add external jars and go to that folder and you can just uh, select all and just click client JSON Java and Selenium. This whole jar should be there must be there, otherwise the it will not work anything in your project. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, so now all is ready and uh, we are going to write now this way. So we have to just uh, set up the IPM for setting uh, for to uh, run the test. So we will just write down the before before test. Okay, what are the test base? What are the capabilities? What are the drivers used to be write the test case? Yeah, and now start to write down the test case. First, do setup. Cool. Using following capabilities. Yeah. So, guys, uh, this is uh, already I have made to show you. I have uh, deleted all the imported files because uh, I have to show you what are the details. So uh, this is a before test setup appm okay desired capabilities capability equal to new desired capabilities I will just paste here okay now you can see what exactly yeah cool uh, yeah desired capabilities equal to new desired capabilities then set capability uh, mm -hmm. device name platform name app package app activity okay so like uh, add before test add test ng library if you have not already added okay then after adding then import before test you can see here uh, import original annotation before test cool now click on the desired capability import desired org make sure that you are importing from selenium dot remote okay yeah cool. so you have to just remove this we will add afterwards yeah cool remove this also so we can show you where it should add close the interactions yeah then move the cursor to the capability type and import capability type from remote again okay next desired capabilities now again import to the remote cool remote dot capability type and remote dot desired capabilities 
Now next you have to mobile capability type. Then again client remote. You can see client remote. Next mode for mouse to be import Java client Android import Android driver from io dot java dot client. Yeah, cool Android dot Android driver. Yeah. Now next mobile element. You have to import from io.apm.java client. Yeah. Cool. Now next URL. This is should be from java.url.net. Okay, import url.java.net. You can see the package name here. Yeah, sure. Java.net. You can see the first line here. Import java.net URL. Cool. Yeah, so all the uh, required packages has been imported. Okay, uh, for the capability type, desired capability, before test, mobile element, Android driver, mobile capability type. Okay, so I will just uh, make sure that error. Yeah, I have to. Uh, yeah, this is a 4723 is a port number, which, uh, yeah, you can see this into the yeah, in the IPM, yeah, this is the 4723 port name, whatever you have to go into, enter. Open Eclipse, yeah, you can see 4723. This is your host name, 127.001. Yeah, and next. Browser name is fine. Next device name i have put it my moto g5 s plus device name i have enter okay platform version 7.1 platform name android app package is com dot android dot vending so how to check that package name okay how to check that package name so you can uh, do by the command line also and you can do by uh, installing the app in your mobile uh, in your mobile system uh, app info apk info or app info just install the app info the logo of there may be like uh, orange color okay if you have any doubt about uh, knowing uh, package name and main activity name you can just comment below i will help it out cool yeah to know app package name yeah and app activity name Install APK info app from from Play Store. So install APK info app from Play Store on your mobile. Select the app which you want to test, and you can see the package name and main activity. Okay, so so please install that uh, app. There are many apps to know the package name and I main activity name. Okay, so I have added com dot android dot vending. Okay, so like uh, now I have to add the app activity. Okay, main app activity. So like I will go. So I have added the main activity com dot google dot android dot finsky activation main dot activity. Okay, now. So like I'm getting error here okay so like so this is a before test okay so you will not find your doctor you cannot test right now so you have to add one test okay you can give a priority one two or three four any maybe okay so like I will just create in one test method public wide launch app In the meantime, you can see device name, platform, platform name, 
in that name. I think the app activity should be changed because this app activity is different so that we will see first it will run or not. So uh, it should give an error because the app activity is not correct. So I have to show that if your app activity and app package name is uh, incorrect, you will get an error. So let's see how it will be. So let just type driver dot yeah. uh, So sorry, uh, we have to use Android driver element first. We have to use create an object. Android driver mobile element driver equal to new Android or mobile element. Okay. So like you can uh, you can just uh, copy that Android driver mobile element driver and make a public after a class make a public uh, initializing the public okay oh cool so you can use a terminal also to get a main activity okay so this is your proper main activity com.google.android.finski.activation.main activity so I will just change over there. If you use a wrong main activity, then it you will you will get an error. So this is a correct main activity for the Play Store. You can see the Play Store app. Now click on Run. run as now everything is okay so you can launch app anything written in the test script so just wait the test has been started i will just show you the mobile uh, which are we are going to test the moto g5 s plus and results so you can see here FM setting has been appear and uh, now the play store has been started you have didn't do any actions cool so this is so so guys your first script is run so like you will get an uh, results as fast wait for a second wait for four to five seconds it will take time and you can check the logs on the FPM server where you start the server. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can get here details, mm -hmm. app activity. So all the needed things you can get here. So if you if you are getting error and you are not getting uh, issues, uh, yeah, so you are not getting to solutions. You can just copy this log and paste to the box who are helping for that. Uh, sorry, or you can just comment below and you can just give the logs of your FPM so that we can solve your issues. Cool. So, see a test run failure zero, so all everything is run. Okay, now we will just start to write the test case first. Anything element we have to click on that. So we are going to click on the like uh, hamburger menu screen. Okay, so to write to do any actions uh, Okay, so wait Check now we will do some actions on the app Using Locator Okay, we will be using UI Automator Weaver, which is the best to inspect elements. First, start the UI Automator Weaver. Now just I have already opened in the starting period as you've seen. Yeah. So this is a UI 
minimize uh, so first of all what you have to do you have to open the app in your mobile phone then you have to click on that uh, screenshot icon okay open app in mobile and now click on icon of the UI meter viewer so open UI to meter viewer yeah so click on that green device screenshot icon and yeah so like whatever the mobile device screen will be there it will just come here obtaining device screenshot yeah so you can see the image on the left side right side you can see the all the details all the locators index text resource id class package contest decks everything you can get here cool so you can use class also for using xpath you can use id by dot id okay so we will use id cool so we have used the id by dot id com dot android and it is just started to run okay so you can check the logs also in the appian server by using terminal yeah yeah so you can just see getting install status all the way you automatically set yeah screen already unlocked doing nothing yeah stop locate server running yeah fine so like everything is working fine here so you must not get the error in the console yeah so like still you are getting the error failure but why why because you haven't put uh, the delay between two steps you have set up and you have writing yeah so you have to give the thread dot sleep for like for five second okay So you can see here, 500 uh, sleep, 5 seconds sleep has given given, and now it is running, and you can check now logs. So it should now run successfully without any errors. Okay, so guys, uh, make sure that you are giving the delays, you are giving the time for executing the script. Yeah, you can see no failures and the script getting launched. Cool. So in the further video videos, we will see how to. Uh, use the alert how to use the verification how to report the issues using FPM how to use framework so stay tuned thanks for watching and subscribe please subscribe to the channel you will get more to learn about Qvestas anything related ID you will get okay so please like share and subscribe if you have any doubt please comment below So guys best luck thanks for watching yeah cool